April is Autism Acceptance Month, and for families raising a child on the autism spectrum, that acceptance is key. They often feel isolated, but as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, the volunteers of Victoria Society for Children with Autism are here to help. Matthew is nine years old and he has autism. He's got an abject fear of dogs, yellow school buses and lawnmowers. And like many kids with autism, Matthew struggles with social interaction and communication. I call him minimally verbal because his responses are kind of one or two word responses. And from social interaction, uh, he's a really shy kid. You ready? Good one. Big step. Raising a child on the autism spectrum can be an incredibly isolating experience. You're, you're just on your own and uh, a lot of families they have support networks and their kids have play dates and things like that but that doesn't normally happen with uh, with Matthew. And that's where the Victoria Society for Children with Autism comes in providing much needed support. Everything from respite to uh, basically a shoulder to cry on sometimes and uh, help them to advocate. The parent-driven nonprofit has now been helping local families for more than 50 years. When the diagnosis of autism comes, it is, simply put, a gut punch. No one wants to hear it. And so, honestly, for the first little while, you just flounder and, and you don't know what to do or where to turn to. For Matthew's family, the moral and sometimes financial support has been a game changer, but they still face challenges in the wider community, from people being intolerant or staring when Matthew's behaving differently than others. People in the autism community are looking for more than just awareness. They're looking for, for autistic kids and autistic people to be accepted uh, in society. And that's why April's now Autism Acceptance Month instead of Autism Awareness Month. It's an important step for society to understand the challenges and some of the gifts that children with autism bring. Stan just hopes that sharing their story will help others and encourage people to be more accepting. I, I think that the more that uh, the word autism is, is out there, the more that people are accepted, um, I, I think the more that we can share and, and start to open up uh, uh, these various types of connections. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.